everyone. Good morning. Um, first of all, I would like to offer an apology for not being there with you today. Uh, well, as you know, uh, tech uh, keeps its teachers quite, quite busy, uh, always preparing them, always having them participate in conferences and workshops, always uh, updating, updating them. And well, this, uh, of course, um, it goes, goes in your benefit, but well, that many times prevents us from actually being, being there. Um, also, well, um, preparing classes like this, you should know, it's uh, for teachers much, much harder because we are used for actually having the classroom, looking at, at your emotions as we explain, as we go through different things. Therefore, this format, well, it's, uh, it's a bit different. It takes a lot more preparation, a lot more time on the way you are going to work it. So, but well, that's how we are. That's, those are the challenges we are facing. This is the adaptation we do. And well, I hope we can actually work today through this format. Um, so right now I'm going to give just some quick introduction to the topic. Later, uh, you will be given an intro to an activity. Um, and well, finally, or, or, or later, you will be able to see the conclusion or to go through the conclusion of this topic, okay? So what we are discussing today is a topic that we had pending, uh, that you had begun discussing, putting some, some things together, uh, and which is a, very, a, a topic that has evolved a lot in its conception in recent years, and that is poverty. Now, our, the main question we want to ask ourselves when we are approaching this subject is if we are doing it correctly, is if we are not making the same mistakes we did before. We know it's a current problem. It's a very difficult phenomenon in human societies. Yes, it happens in every single human society. Therefore, uh, it is important that we know that the concept has evolved a lot through times. It is not the same. It is not looked at the same. And that helps us deal with this social phenomenon in order to solve it, in order for there to be prosperous societies and also, well, societies that look for the happiness and overall the concept of freedom that we had talked about last semester in their citizens. So in order to approach this concept, um, the first thing I, I'm going to uh, request that you please do, that you please take into, into account, is that in your notebooks right now, you answer these two questions. Question number one, uh, when you discuss with your classmates how many Mexicans were there in poverty, well, you realize they needed a concept. So the idea is how did you estimate it? Yes, how did you come up with a conclusion? And the second question is, does, do you think that living in poverty affect in any way your human rights? If you say yes, how does it affect them? If you say no, why not? Okay. So right now, do take that moment individually in your notebooks. Uh, pause this video. Yes, as you do so. I really want you to think about these two questions. I mean it. Pause it. Yes, not, nothing will happen until you do it. So please pause this video and answer those questions. Okay. I'll wait. Don't worry. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. So, uh, most likely what you answered, what you went through is, uh, well, you had this discussion about how it, it got a certain level of, uh, it, it got a little a little bit deep onto what is the cause or, or, or what defines poverty itself, living in poverty, how is it characterized? Yes, and that you actually came to a way of trying to measure it or see it from your perception. Now, the concept we are going to use today that is going to go uh, into uh, defining the way we measure poverty, not only in Mexico, but in the world, is a concept known as multidimensional poverty. So right now what I'm going to ask is that you move on to working with your formal team. Please wait until I give the instructions. Once you have the instructions, and you have everything clear, then you can 
move on to work with your formal teams. Okay. With your formal teams, I want you to have a discussion and I want you to find the answers to the following questions. Okay. First question is, what is the multidimensional poverty index, also known as MPI? Yeah, so search for it. What is it? Where does it come from? Yes. Uh, how was it originated? What are some of the problems it solved? Uh, why is it uh, the, the measurement we use now? So try to be good in questioning this idea. It's not just that you copy and put an answer. No, really. Try to explain what is it? Yes, convert it through your own words. Second, that is connected to that, and you may have already answered there, but answer it in a separate place. How is it measured? How do we get to measure the multi-dimensional poverty index? How do we get an accurate measurement of that? How do we know that number? Yes. Third question, how is it different from other statistical measurements such as per capita GDP, extreme poverty, or the human development index? Now, in order to know how it is different, you have to understand this concept. So if you don't remember them from last semester, please go over them. Please go back to them and try to see how is it that it works. Yes. And try to see the big difference. What is something that one gets and the other one doesn't that the other one that one sh that one shows you at the other one and the other one doesn't. So go into actually researching that and discussing that. OK. Then uh, fourth question. Could the MPI, could it be a more accurate way to measure a poverty than the previous ones we saw? Yes. Than the ones we just mentioned in the previous questions. And uh, our final question, which is actually two, two questions. How does Mexico do when measuring its multidimensional poverty index? That is, how does Mexico do compared to the world? Uh, are we in, in a good level? Are we in a bad standing? What is the position? So look for that information and establish a judgment. Yes, show us your judgment. Um, and second idea, how does Guanajuato perform against other states? So looking at this multidimensional poverty index, how does Guanajuato stand when looking at other states? OK, those are the questions I, I, I wish you could discuss with your team and come up with a good answer to each of them. Now, in order to answer these questions, I want to uh, I want to ask you that you do it in a way. So you are going to create with your formal team a Google Slides document, yes, specifically Google Slides. So it's a live document in which everyone can enter and all the members of the team can edit and can put their input. Nobody is, uh, is uh, dosing off, nobody is not contributing. So do it there. So somebody creates a document, invites the others, and everybody begins editing. Please do as follows. Create one slide to answer each question. Yes, respect that separation. I do not want a slide full of text. I want something that you are writing down, that you are actually understanding. Show me that. Yes, remember that otherwise you may be committing plagiarism. And if you are going to use expressions that come from a different place, then use proper citation. OK, um, so that is going to make nine different slides. Eight for the questions. So you have what is it? How is it measured? Then how is it different from uh, from extreme poverty? How is it different from the human development index? Each of those gets a slide. You answer all of the questions and finally you include, of course, your references. OK, um, so make sure you are able to finish that off by the end of uh, today's class. And uh, once you have sent it, I will be sharing with you um, in the in the last slide of the project that you sent me. Oh yes, please also share it as you share it. Share it with me in this to this address. Share your document with me. Remember, do not send it, but share it. Yes, yeah, so that I can actually see and I can make any comments uh, later. So what I will do is once I finish checking it, I will uh, put a link to a video that actually comes to close this topic. Yes. 
So that's uh, the way I, I wish that we can introduce the topic and uh, in which I think you will be able to explore these notions with uh, a lot more freedom. Okay. So good luck in your research and uh, I hope you actually get to discover a lot of, thing, a lot of things that we can actually um, discuss and we can actually put together as we meet again. Thank you all.